Welcome back. Advocate Satish Sonak has charged that amendments in the Loka Yukta is a brainchild of collusion between the BJP and the Congress. He claims that politicians in the state are united over making Loka Yukta ineffective. He was speaking on the backdrop of amendments suggested by the state government in Loka Yukta bill, including fine in lakhs on false complaint. Lokik Shilka reports. Loka Yukta appoints out so as any other government amend Kurpak Sutta Loka Yukta act. So, yes, take it the amend Kurpak Yogya Sagat. See, amendment of the Loka Yukta Act would have been proper if the amendment was like a Uttarakhand bill because Uttarakhand bill gave the procedure for appointing an. Loka Yukta and transparent procedure. Now that procedure is becoming a victim because you are not amending the act on the Uttarakhand basis. You are doing some other kind of an amendment. I am afraid that this amendment is a brainchild of collusion between the ruling party BJP and the opposition party Congress. They have got together. They will make some uh, false wars in the assembly and ultimately it will land with the governor, the governor will send it to the president and for another one or two years, because the uh, amendment will be pending with the president of India, the Loka Yukta legislation will not work. This is worth taking a risk if you are bringing the Uttarakhand type of amendment, not for such one or two amendments, because of which the whole legislation will come to a standstill and nothing will go forward. That is what the ruling government wants. And that is what the opposition parties want. All politicians are united on. They pretend that they want Loka Yukta. But in heart of their hearts, nobody wants a Loka Yukta. It is only the common man who wants a Loka Yukta. And they are creating hurdles. They are deliberately doing this. The Director General of Police in a joint meet with various school authorities of South Goa had an interaction over curbing of crimes inflicted on to students and children. DGP Kishan Kumar and DIG OP Mishra have emphasized on the sensitization and coordination of all the major stakeholders. Teachers and administrators placed various concerns and suggestions before the authorities. So the first thing is the access control. If you have more than one gate, please man only one gate. Other gates should be closed. <laughs> if you have buses in your school, please don't allow the buses to be parked outside the school. Teacher in charge must ensure that all the children from a particular class <laughs> board the bus and they are counted and they are dropped at the designated places only, which is safe. And the teacher should not get down from the bus unless the last child has been dropped. Then at the main entrance of the school, let us have some surveillance system, some electronic surveillance like CCTV camera. Give your suggestion or your concern and uh, I will uh, tomorrow itself in the form of no, I will convey to Honorable Chief Minister. Then when it comes to CCTV, it's quite an expensive affair, I feel, and many of the schools cannot afford it. The government should provide this CCTV to all the schools so that our children are safe. Many of us have the same suggestion that if you could appoint a lady police personnel who can take care of especially girl child. Now, I would suggest to the government, if government could sanction some uh, loan at a very fast pace, for some incentives for those schools who are coming out with the boundary wall, it would be a good suggestion for the government. I request you to suggest the government to strengthen the security system in all residential schools in Goa. Pidit Chetkari Sangatna protested with black flags at Mopa on Thursday. They opposed the proposed acquisition of land at Mopa for proposed international airport. However, Mandra MLA Lakshmikant Parsekar has pledged his full support to the airport at Mopa. But locals of Mopa have threatened to fight tooth and nail if their land is acquired forcefully. <laughs> मुझे आज परियां जमने हमसे घेत लिया अनि तुम्ही कोर्टन वचा नले आनी खाए वचा ढूंढता थे पूर्ण विरोध कितने कर रहा पुनाम का जमीन जाई अनि आमी घेत ले मुझे पोर्टुगीज़ पर वाले है पोर्टुगीज़ आंचे कौन तेरे भाव बना हाँ गए इस ता 
बेबंद शाही चल आईज हा पे तो रिपोर्ट ने दी खातिर एक निषेध On Thursday morning, the airport authority officials, North Goa district collector Mihir Vardhan, Sukhana Samiti members, and others visited Mopa Airport site. The BJP has pledged its support to the Mopa Airport and assured that Dabuli Airport will function simultaneously. Bharatiya Janata Party's government, as well as the BJP, the MGP, the Independent, as well, have all the support of Mopa Khatir and Mopa Zamzam government. Why? कारण मोका जाऊँ जो बंटा स्थाना कोणा का सुदुबाऊ ना कि दाबोली बंद बंटा तो मनम दाबोली बंद बंटा तो है स्वप्न ये कत शनेंग बंटा रिपोर्ट ऑफ विनोद मेहता फॉर प्रूडेंट Law should be the weapon for women to fight against injustice. A new book released on laws for women, Kaido, gets this message for all. Advocate Sati Sonak has penned this book. The book was released in Women's Commission's office on Thursday evening. The women's hands are in the hands of the women's hands, the women's hands are in the hands of the women's hands, the women's hands are in the hands of the women's hands. The women's hands are in the hands of the women's hands. The women's hands are in the hands of the women's hands. Meanwhile, Sudeep Dalvi, who claims himself to be a scientist in process development, has introduced a self-defense pepper spray for women in distress. He has planned a drive across major cities in Goa to introduce and provide this spray to the needy women at nominal prices. He terms it Operation Dusht Daman. It pertains to subjugation of the wicked. Subjugation of the wicked, crushing down the wicked, trampling upon the wicked. He also explained the procedure of using the spray. The effect is, it is having a very strong and intense burning sensation on the skin membrane, on face, eyes, skin, tongue, whatever part of body it comes into contact with. It is having a very, very deep burning sensation. Have its efficacy, its effect for nearly 30 minutes of time. The spray will strictly be supplied to the needy women only. We are not going to hand it over to men or boys. The spray drive, Operation Dushadaman, which is for one particular day, it is not meant for men, it is not meant for boys, it is only meant for women. Dalvi claims that he has sought permission from the IGP and the KDC officials for such a drive. However, when Prudent questioned DGP and MD of KDC, they said they are not aware of any such product or proposal. Video journalist Devendra Gaonkar and Tulsidas Chari for Prudent. Let's take a short break. Stay tuned.